Yeah, I've been dealing with it for a little bit, but uh, the great trainers we got at Boston, uh, they have it under control. Do you feel like you'll be able to play tomorrow, do you know? Or just... Uh, just rest in treatment and see how I feel. How was it to be out there for the first experience, obviously, kind of in the Celtics experience? Oh uh, man, uh, it's obviously a blessing uh, just being out there, having this, having this logo on me, you know, being able to play with NBA guys in front of NBA guys. So I was definitely excited. Robert, at what point did it just become another basketball game? Because there's always jitters. Yeah. At what point the game? Um, I say after my first point, uh, definitely. Uh, when you get your first bucket in the NBA game, you the jitters go away. You settle down a little bit. So uh, obviously going into it, I was nervous. Didn't want to mess up a lot at all. But uh, like I said, after the first bucket, I kind of settled down. The space is very different in the NBA. You like it suits your game? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I would describe myself as a pick and roll player. You know, it's more space. Uh, you got to pay more attention to detail when you set in pick and rolls, knowing when to roll out, knowing the angles and all. So I feel like it'll help my game. What do you feel like you need to do here in the summer? Do you feel like you got to put on the floor? Um, just hard work and effort. And like I said, attention to all detail. Uh, that's the biggest thing at this level. It's not just going 100%, but doing 100% and doing it the right way. So, uh, like I said, screens, uh, defensively, uh, hands up, showing my versatility on defense. You talked about wearing the Boston Celtics. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's a brand. Uh, it's a, we're a family, you know, uh, Celtics fans. We're all deep Boston fans. They're all behind us. We can only pay them back with hard work and dedication. You mentioned the family aspect. How are your teammates, uh, Shemi and Gershon, kind of helping you along right now through this process? Yeah, they, uh, you know they bullied me a little bit in practice, but that's just, uh, that's rookie, that's rookie age, and you know what I'm saying, but they definitely took me under their wing, you know, uh, Shimmy's always in my ear telling me when to talk up, you know, what to do, how, what the coaches expect, how to play, so uh, it's definitely a blessing having those vets above me. Do you see how hard they go? Does it bring up your level? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Feeding off of teammates' energy is definitely the best thing uh, you could possibly do, especially when you have great leaders like them.